nature, the great outdoors. It surrounds us, it covers the entire planet. It's alive, it reacts, adapts, it surprises us. But how can we be so out of touch? How can something that's everywhere be so far away? When did we decide that we were no longer a part of nature? That we were better? That we were a chosen few that didn't have to play by the rules? What does nature inspire in us? What does it do to us? Why is it important? Frankly, I intend to find out. After my girlfriend asked me to take a picture of a cactus, I decided to set out on an adventure. To get up close and personal with nature. Beautiful, isn't it? That's the Grand Canyon. Yeah, pretty important place. That's right. I went to the Grand Canyon, one of the largest canyons in the world, to see just what nature does with a little free time. And when I say free time, I mean millions of years. Guess what? We're still in the Grand Canyon and at another wonderful place. This time it's Thunder River. It's a spring that just pops out of the sandstone. Two holes, bam, just shoots out, you know, like a gap in your teeth. That's right. I stayed in the canyon. For six days, I sought after the most wondrous sights the canyon could hold. Rivers, lizards, crumbling, ageless rocks. Plants so rare they bloom only once every 50 years. And what I found was that nature was strong and fragile, unrelenting and forgiving constantly in a state of change, yet always just as beautiful.